All right, what's going on? Just left my house. It is October 14th. November. November 14th. <laughs> and it is almost 8 o'clock. Um, got a lot of traps set tomorrow. Will's setting too. Um, yeah, it's November 14th. Tomorrow morning is opening day traffic season. We can start setting at 6 a.m. So we're going to be out there. We're going to be hitting it hard all day. Got a lot of steel to put out. So, uh, well, you got anything to say? Nah, it looks like it's gonna be another good season. Got lots of traps ready to roll. Me and Tyler are both running our own lines this year. So, we each got our own different places to go. and Just kind of do our skinning together and set our own traps and see what we can get this year. Um, mainly tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be setting a lot of, a lot of muskrat traps. Um, here and there, I'll, I'll set a couple log crossings. We'll try and get all that on film for you today, or tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna start off by myself in the morning. I'm sleeping over Will's, that's where we're going right now, but I'm gonna start off by myself in the morning. And uh, Will's gonna start off in a little bit and then he's gotta go to work for a little while. And uh, we'll meet back up for breakfast and then uh, we'll do a little, I'll film him for a little while at some of his spots, setting traps, and he'll film me for a little while. So hopefully we'll get a jam-packed video with some, some real good sets in. And uh, then tomorrow, Sunday morning, before church, we'll try and get some, video of our catches and then afterwards so stay tuned we should have a real good start to the season here tomorrow morning so we'll see you later all right guys it's opening morning uh, not my first location here at the swamp um, last year I pulled a few rats out of here and there wasn't like too much sign but this year there's a lot so Hopefully I can get at least 20 rats out of this place, if not more. But uh, the sun's just about peeking over the hill. It looks like it's gonna be a good day. This morning it was 21 degrees. Pretty sure that's the coldest it's been this year so far. And uh, over at this pond I was just at, I couldn't get any video, it was just still too dark, but uh, it was thin layer ice, so it was easy to find the rat. I mean, I knew where they were, but it's going into a location where, where there's real thin ice. You can just see the butt pick up on the bubble trails and find the muskrat holes and everything. But uh, so I'm walking in now. I'm gonna put if you can see. It's all uh, brush right over here. In the next week or so, I'll put in some fox snares. I want to wait a little longer for the prime up a little more, but. Uh, Looks like it's gonna be a good day, so stay tuned. I'll get some sets on film for you. We'll see in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm towards the end of the swamp. You can see right here, real thin layer of ice. Going right up under the bank up in there is a muskrat hole, so uh, I'll uh, break that ice, throw a kind of bear in front of it, and we'll keep moving. But... All right, guys, there's the set. The water's only um, probably four or five inches deep right there, so I had to tilt the conifer sideways, but I uh, covered the hole and then I just threw a little cover stick over there, so uh, we should have a rat in that tomorrow, so, or later today, if I can come back and check, but moving on. All right, guys, we're at the next hole. Um, actually scouting this one out, I never knew it was even here, but uh, it's good, it's good we got ice here, so check that out. You can see how right behind that, the water's all muddy there. That's a definite indicator that there's rats coming in and out of there. And also there's um, bubbles. So we'll set this up. I'm, I gotta check out how wide it is. I might just come back with some colony traps. I couldn't uh, bring them all out with me, but uh, so I'll check this out and uh, we'll get back to you. We'll see you in a little bit. Got a bunch of geese flying over now. Today's also the opener of uh, goose season again. So I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but they're all flying over. People are shooting away. But anyways, I just got this set in. I had to throw up a little dirt up there, but uh, got her all set up, so we'll keep moving down. All right, here we go. Couple bubbles, and just look at all that mud coming out of there. I'm sure I kicked a bunch of rats out, I guess walking up, I don't know, but 
that's a good hole right there, so I'll set this one up. I might need to do a double conibur next to each other. We're all just waiting to get a colony trap there, but this place is looking pretty good, so stay tuned. I'll get this set up. Alright, I had to double set this one to try and get a good view for you, but you can see both my conibers bears right there, just right next to each other, and I just threw some brush on top, and <sighs> we're looking good, so we'll keep moving on. Just put in uh, another set for a muskrat. So I think I got about six or seven sets out so far and got a lot more to do, so get back with you. All right, I just got a set in right here. Oh, just fell into a hole. Oh, there we go again, crap. Just got, can't really see it that well. But just got a kind of bear over a hole, and you can see I just stepped in, caved in their tunnels on the floor. But right here, there's a hole I busted it out with my foot, stuck my foot in it to make sure it was a hole. And uh, it was, but I can't see the hole anymore since it's all mudded up. So I'm gonna, I'll come back and set that kind of bear in it. In a couple minutes, I just gotta go down there, and then it'll go around, and I'll circle back up. So <sighs> we'll keep moving on. All right, let me see if I can get this on video for you. Um, I guess not. Right, right in here. Just goes right into up into the bank. This is just your classic muskrat set. Um, I don't know if you can see right down in there. There's a nice channel right in the middle where they swim and run. So, but I'll throw a condor bear in there. I brought a couple dozen with me. I think I brought, or at least a dozen and a half, I had with me, and now. I got a handful left, and I'll see if I can get them set real quick, and I got a log down there. I want to put up a couple coon snares on, and then we'll be out of here, so stay tuned. Alright, so what we got here is an awesome muskrat set. There's a channel that comes right out of this nice, this big water. Funnels right in between this bog, these two bogs, and just goes right back out. So right there, it's still hard to see with the glare, but you can just see my trap just touching the bottom. So I should slam one out of here. So we got a couple more. I'll cross right over there by that bog and uh, then I got my coon snare out over that way. So stay tuned. I got a couple more muskrat traps put out at this location and then we'll be moving on to our next. All right, I'm five feet down from that last set right there. Got another nice hole right here. So got that one set up. All right, here's the log crossing. There's a bunch of coon shit on it. Um, all it is is just one of those old dead sanding trees that fell over the creek and the coons and I'm pretty sure coyotes have been just traveling right over this so. I think I'm gonna put a snare on, about two snares on it. Um, so uh, I don't know, I'll try and figure it out. I'll set it up and then I'll show you what I've done. So stay tuned. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so here's that log crossing there. I got a snare right there, and then another one right over there. I usually do I like to do a minimum of two. And this is a smaller crossing, but usually I like to do three or four just because they'll knock them over sometimes, and you don't get a catch. That way, you're guaranteed a catch when something crosses that log. So I'm just gonna walk back around on my way out. Walk past those uh, muskrat traps I just checked. You never know when there's gonna be one in it. So. Then I'm gonna head to the truck and uh, pick up my cousin so he can film me for a little while and then we'll be uh, we'll be moving out of here pretty soon so it's a beautiful day out it's nice and chilly so first should be good um, Will's out setting right now at, I don't know I think he said eight or nine o'clock he had to go uh, catch pheasants and then he'll uh, be back out here with us so stay tuned we got a lot more traps to set Okay, a couple more feet down from that log crossing. We got, it's kind of muddy, but probably one or two rats in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can, but you can see just a whole muddy little trail going right out. The water's not very deep here, but um, there's just a big layer of silt on top, and it's just real soft. Like I, when, If I stepped in the middle of this, I'd be up in my chest. That's why I gotta be careful here, but 
So I got my last Kana bear ready to go. I'm going to throw her in there and we'll be heading out of here. So stay tuned. All right, so uh, we're at our next location here. We're in this little drainage ditch. Um, there's a nice culvert right here that goes up in uh, up into the sewers. And I don't know if you can tell on camera right here, but we got a killer coon trail right here coming in that goes right into the culvert. So uh, I'm gonna put a couple snares on this. We got another little trail over there we're gonna set. So um, we'll do that and then we'll come back with you when uh, we're finished. All right, so um, got this snare in right here on this trail. Uh, the other one's about eight foot apart. Um, so then we got that one right there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but we got that one and then we got this one right here. There, so we should, uh, hopefully we'll have one tomorrow. We'll see. So, all right, moving on. All right, so uh, we're at this next uh, location. It's just like a little lake community. Um, the water's still pretty low here. Uh, there was just a couple inches with some ice on top, but um, I kind of dug it out with my boot and uh, hole goes up into the bank. So I'm gonna take my trap and stick her in right here. Well, when I get her in, we'll show you the set. camera. Alright, um, we'll show you that set on the way out, but uh, we got a little muskrat house right here, and um, you probably can't see it, but there's a hole that goes right in. There's a bog that comes down at like almost a V, and the hole goes right in. We got all this gravel here. It levels off. If Well, if it was level across, um, but anyways, it all, it, there's a whole trail, um, trail uh, channel in here from the rats, so I'm gonna throw my kind of bear right in there. And, uh, oh. Pops off the thing. So. There we go. Ready to go. So the house is kind of long and there's another hole right over here so I'm going to stick my kind of bear in front of this one. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, had another uh, swamp right here behind the farmer's house. Um, there's quite a few muskrats in this little area, actually. But you can probably see that there's uh, the ice is almost on top of the soot, basically. Uh, but right down the center, there's a beveled out channel with some air bubbles above it. So muskrats are swimming through there. So I just had a couple holes down here. I'm gonna set this now too, so. Gotta get this trap set and uh, throw her out there. This is, um, this trap right here is a 150, a 150, it's a five by five inch single spring by the uh, BMI. Trying them out this year, I hear good things about them, so. We'll see how, we'll see how they work this year for me, so. Got to break this thin ice and uh, put my trap in. So, just need to. Can you hear me two sticks real quick?
since uh, it's real shallow here, my trap is already like two inches into the soot, so I'm gonna throw in some dive sticks to make them try and dive down and get a little closer. There we go. She's set. On to the next one. All right, so uh, just on the other end of this little swamp thing, um, we got another hole over there we have to set still. and. This is something I wanted to show you guys. It's a muskrat house, but the water's really low, but so you can see right in there. But I don't know if you can get that on the camera or not. There's a hole. I mean, it goes way back into the bank, but, but yep, I'm gonna go get that one set and uh, then we'll be out of here. So stay tuned. So right up here is another one of those bank holes. You can see right up in there, there's some water. Not sure if it's active or not. Maybe I'll put a trap in front of it. We'll see. So the other hole's right over here, and I'll set that. Show you, and then we're out. Master trapper, right there. Just look at him. Master of the trade, right there. All right. So uh, we just met up with uh, Wild Man Willie. He says he's doing some muskrat mania today. So. <laughs> We got this little swamp out back here. It's not very deep, but it's a lot of like muck and stuff like that. We've got a couple good holes and some trails here, so we're gonna put in uh, two conibers and a diver. So we'll show you some different sets. Follow along. So first, we're gonna do a conibear set here. Right through here, there's a channel that leads up, and then they got a bank den right here that goes all the way back up in there. You can see there's a few holes that got a bank den. But here's where the entrance is, right at the end of this log. So we'll take and uh, we'll put a 150 in there. Don't grab me a stick, John. All right. In the meantime, uh, Willie's doing that. We'll go ahead and throw this diver in there. I got a couple wings on it. Oh. Just so we can guide them in, cover a bigger area. So I'm gonna throw this in. Hey Will, which way do you want the wings facing? Uh towards the bank then. Towards the bank then? Alright. So I think so this this channel. Make sure you always check the doors on your divers too. Just a little tip. Um, so this channel here goes right under this log. So we're gonna set this. Sorry about it. Get the camera over here, I can show you what this looks like. So, you can see right here, you can see how it's real dark under there. There's a huge channel. This way. And uh, the colony trap goes right under there. Yeah, you can move it a little bit, tweak it. But those wings funnel them right in there. So, Will, did you get yours set? Yep, we'll set it. Alright, right, so Will's got his right here. Entrance to the bank den. He's just got his conibear bear right there, threw a little brush over it to, so they dive under just to make sure and should be rat in there in the morning, right Will? That's right. Rat commander doesn't fail. You guys got anything to say? Alright. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. Dude, don't mess up the channel. So Will's got his rat here. Are you ready, Will? Okay. Yep. Oh, hold on. Shake him out. Nice sized rat there. Let me get a nice zoom on it. Oh, yeah. 
That was nice. Probably the one That's I've on been seeing chain, all around. Look. That's in the chair. It's gotta get over a little bit. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And now see, this one looks a little better. It's a nice one. This one's a little bit better, right? Yeah, slide over. Here, just take it. Five. Just move around. Just move around. The fur came. All right, so uh, I just finished setting a couple log crossings behind where I work. Um, I This was the second one I set. I only had five snares I brought with me. I don't know why, but... So I only got two on this log, if you, if you can see those. Um, there's a couple of coon den trees around here. So hopefully I'll get something going back and forth. These are set for uh, raccoon and fox. Um, usually I like to have at least three on a log. That way, if something crosses you, you're guaranteed to catch, basically. Um, so, the other log crossings up there, I didn't get that one on film, but this was just uh, to show you a log crossing with snares, and uh, hopefully we'll have a raccoon or fox in the morning, so stay tuned. Um, tomorrow's first check day. Uh, it's about 4.30. I don't know if I'm going to set any more traps or not today. Maybe a couple, but I got a party to go to tonight, and uh, yeah, so... Stay tuned, hopefully we'll have a lot of catches tomorrow. <laughs> go, na go National Guard. <laughs> go Guard. Alright guys, I'm uh, setting some raccoon snares. I got a den there. Um, you can just see this trail that they're running on all along the whole bank. Um, there's another hole over there, but I just gotta grab a couple of my steak and hammer and there are a couple more up here. You can just see they run up on this trail here. I'll show you my next set. It's right over here. See this trail right there? I'm not sure if you can see it on camera or not, but it comes right through all matted down grass right here. And then right there, boom, snare. There's another den, so another den over there. Trail comes up through this grass. Comes out around. Then here's another trail in the grass. Right there. Trail in the grass. There's another stair right there, boom. And then, right over here I got one. On the trail right here. Trail coming down right there. There's a snare. So that's uh, one, two, three, three snare or four snares. One, two, three, four. And uh, this is an old uh, like block house, and they bulldoze it over the bank. And there's all these uh, coon holes in here, or coon dens, and set a couple snares. So hopefully we'll come back tomorrow and have one. So stay tuned. Look out for that. All right, guys. I'm on this uh, lake community where I set yesterday. And uh, right here is my first, the, actually the con bear I had over there had nothing in it, but first con bear, second rat of the year. So we got a rat on that one. And let's see if we got anything over here. And nope, nothing in this one. So maybe I don't have the entrance right, I don't know. Maybe it's over there, I don't know. Try it like that maybe. We'll see. Alright, uh, anyways, I'll get this reset and uh, actually I'll pull it out to show you. Where is it? Where is it? First rat. Second rat, actually. So, we'll get back with you. Alright, I'm just out here in this one uh, swampy area. I just pulled a rat out from that channel set right there, and I uh, caught my caught my finger in a conibear bear again. I'm all busted up. I caught it in, my, in the conibear bear yesterday, and I got it in today, and now it's all swollen and everything. But if you can see, we got another muskrat right there, so uh, we'll pull her out, and then uh, right here we have another set. We'll see if something's in it, and there might be one in there. It's, nope, trap's still set. Yep, trap's still set, so we got a couple more to go, and then we're out of here. Alright guys, um, 
It is 7.16. It's check day two. It's Monday morning. Uh, I'm out before work checking some of my traps. Uh, I just put in... I didn't really put in any fox snares yet. I want to wait another week so just to make sure the fur is good. But um, there was this really good... I, I couldn't get it on film. It was too dark. I set it up in the dark and I just checked it now and it's pouring out and it's still pretty dark out. So... Um, but it's a big, uh, it's about a 24 inch diameter, um, I guess an oak tree that leans out over the riverbank. And now uh, there's a little sapling like a foot away from it and the, looks like, it looked like a coon trail going ripping, like ripping through it. So I'm like, oh, I'll just throw up a snare there. Last night, went back this morning and we had a fox. So that was pretty exciting. That was the second spot I tr uh, checked on my way to where I have a lot of my traps. So, couldn't get it on film, it was too dark for the camera, but I'm going to check a couple more spots and uh, hopefully we have something good for you. So, one fox down and a lot more to go. See you in a little bit. Alright guys, just uh, coming up on those coon snares that we set. And uh, looks like we got us a decent one here. Yeah, he looks like a nice one alright, so. We'll get him out of here, I'm going to show you a better view. Alright, we're out here on this lake community again, and uh, got us a bunch of cattails, and there's a couple little muskrat houses and stuff, so, but uh, here's a muskrat house, and uh, we got us a rat right here. Not a, not a very big one, but we'll take it. So, uh, we got another uh, colony trap right there. Nope, nothing in it. Alright, we'll keep moving. Alright guys, out another one of these little private lakes, and uh, don't know if you can see it, but right here we got us some muskrat. And there you go. That's why none of the other ones are in there. See how we, see how they bite the cage? But, so we'll get them out of here and make the reset, and then we'll be moving on. Alright, we're at this uh, other little swamp here. Second trap, and we have a rat. Not a bad one, so we'll make it, make it reset and check the other ones. Stay tuned. Alright guys, that set we had that black muskrat in yesterday. We uh, got another one today. It's not a very big one, but we'll pull her out and uh, keep moving on. This is the first trap here I have at this swamp, so we're looking pretty good. Alright, yesterday this trap was set a little too high and we missed, and uh, Today we got another rat, so that's good. That's number two. Second trap here, and we got a bunch more to go, so. All right, uh, this is winding down to one of my last sets, but got another muskrat in it. Just a channel set going into a uh, bank den, and pretty sure that's my last one, but I'll check to make sure. So, moving on, one more, a couple more places to check.